Hi everybody, so for today's video, we're going to be comparing four different soprano ocarinas made out of different materials, plastic, ceramic, purple clay, and porcelain. I'm going to be recording all of them into my ribbon mic that's usually off screen, but I love how the sound of the ribbon captures the ocarina, so that's what I'll be using today. And so let's go ahead and start by taking a quick listen, and then we'll talk about them afterwards. Hi guys, I forgot to mention while filming this video that there are some panels off screen to help absorb some of the room sound so that you can hear the sound of the ocarinas without any added reverb or room reverb. So back to the video. So now that you've heard all of the ocarinas played back to back, I do want to mention that I played them in order of least expensive to most expensive. So I want to go ahead and start by sharing my thoughts on the least expensive option, which is the plastic ocarina. Now the thing that was no most notable to me about this one is that it was the most lightweight and the most durable of the ocarinas I played today. So I would feel comfortable bringing this one into virtually any situation because the chance that it's going to get damaged or destroyed is far, far lower than any of the other ocarinas. Um, now the second thing is this specific ocarina is a themed ocarina. So as you can see, it's a Legend of Zelda ocarina. So for all of you out there that not only enjoy playing ocarina, but love to collect them, this one does look lovely up on a shelf. Um, so for me, the most, the two most important things I look for when looking at an ocarina is intonation and tone color. Now, the, this, uh, this specific ocarina was a little bit more difficult for me to play in tune, but with practicing proper air support, practicing with a tuner, drones, all that sort of stuff, this one can definitely be played in tune. It was just a little bit more difficult for me. Um, and the second thing is that the tone of this one was a little bit breathier than any of the ocarinas I played today. So to my ear, it does sound a little bit less refined, but that being said, I did feel that it worked perfectly for the character of the song that I played today, which is hi-ho. So it does go, go to show that every ocarina does have its place. So next up, we have the ceramic ocarina. And like the plastic one we just talked about, this one's also really fun to look at with the swirlies and the green and the shape and all of that. So if collecting ocarinas is a hobby of yours, this one could also look nice up on a shelf. I mean, arguably they all could, but I'm, I'm just saying, you know, like this one is fun as well. Um, so moving on to intonation and tone color, this one was a little bit easier for me to play in tune than the plastic one. And it has less of a breathy tone than the plastic one. It's actually closer in tone to the purple clay, which we'll talk about next. But before we do, I will say that this one does take more air to play than the purple clay. So now moving on to the next one. So here is the purple clay ocarina. At full disclosure, I do wanna say that this is the first soprano ocarina I purchased and therefore the one that I'm most comfortable playing. So please keep that in mind when listening to my thoughts about this specific instrument. Um, I will say that of all the ocarinas I played today, this one does take the least amount of air to play. And because of that, it does play a little bit better in tune for me because I don't have to push quite as hard on those upper notes to get them in tune. Um, also because it takes a little bit less air to play, it's a little bit softer, it's still soprano ocarina, but it's a little bit softer than the other ones. Um, and to my ear, it sounds a little bit darker and mellow but that could just be because it's playing softer. So let me know what you guys are hearing. Um, and then finally, I have to say, I actually really like the look of natural clay. So I know that it's just plain brown, but I do love the look of this one. And because of the matte finish, it feels really comfortable to hold. Um, I rarely feel like my fingers are slipping while playing it. So all that being said, again, please keep in mind, that this is my preferred one to play because I've been playing it so long. So the final ocarina I'm going to talk about today is the porcelain ocarina, which is the most expensive of the ocarinas I played today. Now, I do think this one has a really lovely and elegant look to it. 
Um, but there is one thing I want to mention, and that's that I'm the most afraid to play this ocarina of all the ocarinas. The reason why is that the surface is so smooth, I'm always afraid that I'm going to drop it. But that being said, I have yet to drop any of these ocarinas, knock on wood. So my fears might be completely unfounded, but it's just something that I wanted to mention. Now, of all of the ocarinas I played today, this one does take the most amount of air. So there's three things to keep in mind when playing this ocarina. First is that it's a little bit harder to sustain really long phrases. So the purple clay one, which takes a little bit less air, I don't have to breathe as frequently, and so therefore I can sustain phrases for a little bit longer if needed. Um, the second thing to keep in mind about this one is that because you're blowing a lot more air, it also is actually quite loud. So if you're looking for a really loud ocarina, I mean, this really fits the bill. And then finally, I do think that it has a brighter sound than all the ocarinas I played today. So if you're looking for an ocarina that has a nice, bright, loud sound, but is still refined in a professional instrument, I mean, this is really a great instrument. <clears throat> so for my final thoughts today, I do want to say that the ocarinas I chose to share with you today are a very, very small sample size of what's available out there on the market. There's lots of variety between makers, models, materials that they're made out of, um, and you can even take 10 ocarinas from the same maker made out of the same material, same model, same everything, and they're all gonna play slightly differently. So please keep that in mind when shopping for your ocarina. Now, did you guys have a favorite of the ocarinas I played today or did you hear a difference? Please feel free to let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Also, I wanna say that all the ocarinas I played today are available from STL Ocarina and links to all those ocarinas will be in the description below. So thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day.